What is up guys welcome back to another video today we're gonna take a look at tiani today as you can see here tiani is an adaptable dodge specialist and a very easy vanguard but there still are some new people in for honors community that don't know about tiani's kit and i'm gonna be going over tiani's entire moveset and after the moveset i'll give you a little bit of a combo of what i like to do um, just a little bit of it and I'll give you some gameplay of Tiandi after that I will go ahead and give my final thoughts with Tiandi so if you enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more but let's get straight into the moveset okay so the first move we got for Tiandi is lightning steps now this is just two lights next up we have is thunderclap which is light and heavy after that one we have typhoon whirl which is heavy and heavy Next up we have is Backhand Flurry. Now this one is a heavy and a light. After that one we got Top Tier Dodge. This is Tiandi's Front 4 Light. And the thing about the Front 4 Light is you can also delay it by just moving forward in motion with Tiandi here. So as you see here, I can delay the light. You have to like wait a couple of seconds. So one, two, three. Well, not one, two, three, but one, two. One, two, like that. That's how I practice to delay the front forward light, is by counting two seconds, and that's it. Next, we have the side tier dodge. This is Tiandi's side dodge light. After that, we have Tiandi's front forward heavy. Now, this is his front forward heavy, and it also has hyper armor on it, so you can also trade with people. After that, we have the side dodge attack, which is his side dodge heavies. This is where you can dance on people, and you can keep on fainting it and go with uh, the side dodge again and again. And again, and again. After that move, we have the dragon kick follow up. Now, how to do the dragon kick is simple. If you're on console, this is how you would do the dragon kick. You would press heavy, hold X, and initiate the dragon kick by holding heavy again, or pressing heavy again. That's how you do the dragon kick follow up. Next up we have is the palm strike. Now the palm strike is like this simple. That's how you do the palm strike. Just front forward and X. After that, we got the palm strike combo. It's literally palm strike, but with a light. After that, we got the heavy palm strike. Now, this here is, again, the palm strike, but with a heavy after. And that's a new thing that they added with Tiandi, is they made a heavy after the palm strike. And that helps Tiandi a lot. It does catch people off guard a little bit. Sometimes, not all the time. Next up, we got Tiandi's sprint attack. That's a sprint attack. And I'll also talk about the dragon kick, which the dragon kick, you can do it after a heavy. That's the dragon kick. Uh, again, if you're on console, it's literally uh, heavy and then X. That's that's pretty much what you would do. And you can also faint it too. So that's cool too. And one more move to for Tiandi is his zone. Now the zone is, uh, again, uh, just right bumper and left, <laughs> not left trigger, right bumper and right trigger. Uh, press them both at the same time. And you can also faint the zone if you want to. The full zone uh, can do some cool damage too, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much the zone right there. So for me, what I like to do with my Tiani mix-up is I like to go straight for my palm strike first and get some damage in. I like to go for it again, and then I'll faint this to go for a side dodge heavy if I wanted to. Now, using the kick, I could use the kick too, but I like to use the zone with the kick and faint the kick. Now... If you're starting up around, what I suggest you do is you go straight for zone and go straight for the kick because they either have two choices, either dodge it or take the damage. Now, sometimes they won't dodge it and they will take the damage. <laughs> now, it's a 50-50. Sometimes they'll dodge it, sometimes they won't. But it, it depends on what you want to try to do, if you want to use that kick or not. Like, faint it, uh, use it, it doesn't matter really. Uh, another thing I like to do with Tiandi is go for a side dodge heavy and then go straight for the front forward and go for side dodge heavy again. And it's really interesting doing that because you can also do uh, the side light as well. You can faint. You can faint. The, uh, side dodge into a side light and this catches people off guard sometimes and it makes Tiandi so freaking versatile it is so freaking good really this is why i like playing with Tiandi. but uh that's a little bit of a, a combo that i like to do uh again you guys can come up with your own but this is what i what i enjoy doing with my Tiandi playstyle. uh now that i showed you get a little bit of Tiandi, we're gonna go straight into his feet and then i'll give you some gameplay of Tiandi, and then the final thoughts here we go Okay, so these are the feats that I run with Tiandi, and 
I, the first one we'll go over is tireless which is a passive and you lose stamina at a slow rate so basically you just lose stamina but at a slower rate so you won't lose it too much you know uh next up we got mark for death now this reveals the target's position lowers their stamina and defense and increases renown gain upon kill so basically once they have this marked of death on them they take a lot of damage and they also they also gain renown Yay! So next up we got is Vital Leech. Now Vital Leech here is a passive. Life Leech when health is low. So it's basically like a life steal. So if your health is low, you basically take uh get some health back from taking or not taking damage, but by doing by doing damage to your opponent, you know? And the final one we got from for me, that is, is Indomitable. This is a passive gain temporary shield when put in critical critical health. Cooldown is cancelled when you gain health. So you basically get a shield. Once you're at a certain point, like once you're at like low, low health, get a shield, which helps you a lot. And these two feats here combined will help you a lot with Tiandi in Dominion or in Breach. And a lot of people hate these two feats because they're so freaking OP. And they are, they really are. But uh, this is basically his lifesteal. Uh, this is what I call the lifesteal kind of feat tier for Tiandi. Um, but. Really, I enjoy just take running this feed tireless, mark for death, vital leech, and indomitable. If you guys want to take a picture of it, you can, or just put it as your feet, you can. But I want to show you guys in some gameplay with these feeds. Let's do that. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, got some elimination gameplay. I'm gonna be pulling out the Tiandi. Yo. No sir, don't do that. Okay. Okay, there we go. There it is. Gotcha. Sit down, buddy. <laughs> You're fight. Let's go, bro. Oh, I miss playing Elimination. I do miss playing it. I do miss making gameplay on it, dude. But yeah, right there, I was just being very defensive, and that Warmonger was just throwing out random, at random ass attacks, honestly, dude. All right, Raider, let's go. Go with that. Nice. Perfect. Nice parry. Nice. Caught him off guard. Oh. Okay. Okay. Zone it out. Caught him. Okay. Zone it out. Got him. Victory. There we go. He didn't parry that zone. There we got it, baby. Is her. All right. Let's fight this raider again. Okay. He let the heavy fly. Nice. Heavy. Heavy again. Caught him. Let it fly. Okay. Wow, good mix. Ooh, call me with the zone. Okay. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. He called me with the zone. I didn't expect him to throw that zone out. I No raider throws that zone out as much. But it's so easy to just parry, but I guess he got me with it. All right, here we go. Zone it out. Okay. Ah. Oh. Bro, this Nabushi is tricky. Oh my gosh, this Nabushi. That Nabushi was so annoying. Well, because man, she kept on doing the side dodge heavy the entire time and it kept messing me up. Aw, oh, dude. No. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. They almost had it too. 
And then Ibushi messed me up because she kept on doing the side dodge heavy every time I would throw out the zone or try to faint the zone. I should have just waited and then just get her like that, bro. So you gotta be like mindful of that. Round four. All right, Highlander. So. There it is. Gotcha. All about the mind game, sucker. Come here. Yeah. I'm about to sell you on eBay. That's what we do, bro. We take them little figurines, sell them on eBay. Oh, nah. Get back here. Let's get it. Come here. Gotcha. Stop with the light spam. Enough with that. Yep. Enough with that. Yeah. Yeah, got my get back. Got my get back. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, dude. Got my get back. That's how we do it. That's how we get it, bro. Okay, with Tiani right now, I really do enjoy playing with Tiani and For Honor. And these are my final thoughts with Tiani too. Uh, Tiani is a really good character right now in For Honor, just to play with. A really easy Vanguard just to get into. You can use the side dodge heavy to your advantage. He also can trade with people with the front forward heavy. And he also delays his lights with the delayed light tech that I showed you. Well, not tech, but it's just a delayed light thing that I showed you guys and too. And also, Tiandi has crush encounters, but they are a bit advanced. Um, if you guys would like an advanced Tiandi like guide on that, I will show you guys that. Uh, just let me know in the comments. But overall, Tiandi is a solid character. Really OP right now in the meta. I think he's like S tier, I'll say. Probably S tier in my opinion. Because... He's, he's, real, he's in that S tier territory because his kit is just too good just to play with. And the kick is just too good to just use as well. So use it wisely too because it's like a 50-50 again. Uh, you can hit it, but you can't hit it. It's 50-50. It's yeah, I really did not play. I really did enjoy making this Tiani guide. I hope you guys again enjoyed this guide. Um, I know there was some little hiccups in it, but we managed to get through it and just go over the Tiani and just have a good time with the Tiani too. And again, if you do enjoy my videos, be sure to just subscribe if you're new and like for more uh, For Honor guides and different guides here on my channel too. I'm not just doing For Honor guides, I'm also doing Rainbow Six Siege guides as well. Uh, just for just for a while until a really cool game called Exo Primal comes out, which I want to cover that game next. Because it looks very interesting to just go over and just... Uh, just cover it and all and play it uh, because again i don't do guys i also want to do gameplay so i hope you guys will enjoy that too um but yeah again tell me your comments about tiandi where would you put him on your tier list and what do you think about him overall in for honor and let me know your feedback of the guy in today's video and as always i'm the game raptor and i will see you guys in the next video stay well Red pack peace out